as we've mentioned previously before in AutoCAD, we've got this thing called model space where we can draw in one to one. And if we have a look at the drawing that we've got here, you can actually see that's exactly what's been done here. And if we zoom in and we get closer and closer, you can see more and more detail appearing in the drawing as we get closer to it. And as you come back out again, you can see you, that you can go to another part of the drawing, zoom back in again, and there's a real heavy amount of detail in here. So it means that you can draw in a one-to-one -one scale, which is a lot easier. But of course, you can't plot that out. Um, you know, it's fantastic to be able to draw in one-to-one, -one, but obviously you'd need an extremely large piece of paper in order to plot that out one-to-one. -one. So we're not going to. We need to find a way of presenting that. So you notice at the bottom we've got uh, two tabs, one called Color and uh, one called Mono. Normally they're called Layout 1 and Layout 2, but for this, for this uh, drawing they've been renamed. So we've got the Color tab there. And what this is doing is this is showing a presentation of that drawing in paper space. Now, what you can see is even though they're the same piece of paper, or the, the same size or different size piece of paper, they're still displayed on the screen at roughly the same size. And you can see that I can manage those by right clicking and I can go to my page setup manager. And within that, we've got options in there for modifying the color. So if I want it to be color as a plot out, um, if I want it to be black and white, if I've got other options, we will go into a bit more detail on this in the next video. But I can also create viewports uh, which I organize my drawing. So you can see here we've got the top viewport. There's a little black line there appeared around the drawing. And that's my viewport, and that's my window into the model space, but to view it in paper space. And each one of these are going to be sort of the, the sort of tiny little ways of, of looking into your model space, but but being able to sort of display it at a different scale. So you can see at the bottom there, we've got the 1 8 equals um, 1 inch, and that's really the scale. So it's an imperial scale rather than a metric scale. But it allows us, as I'm saying here, it allows us to look into that model space. And you can move that around and you can have it at different scales. And you can also have as many of them on the screen as you want. And they can all be at different scale as well. So that's important. You can have one, one of these viewports at a 1 to 50 scale or one at a 1 to 100 scale. So I can put sort of different things in here as well. We've got extra text, you can see there, that uh, I've zoomed in on. And you can see that there's, there's no text in the model space. It's all been done in the paper space. There's certainly no title block in there. Uh, and we don't put our title blocks, or we don't put our text in the model space. What we tend to do is we tend to put it in the paper space. So you see now I'm back in paper space, we've got the title block on there and we've got all the extra text. So the next thing we need to do is just go to the menu browser if we want to sort of plot this out. And you'll see within that, we've got an option in there to print. We can send it to a plotter. I've got a whole lot of different options in there. Do I want to send it to a plotter? Do I want to manage it? And that's going to help me control the output uh, of this drawing, you know, and where it's going to go. So that's the principles behind it. And now let's move on.